There, I'm Syl Beckner, a volunteer naturalist here at Bernheim Forest and WBUG. Uh, uh, and I'm standing here close to the prairie where all these flowers are blue. Wait a minute, wait, there's bees here. I'm going, to, I'm out of here. Bye. I'm, I'm just a mason bee. I'm harmless. I'm not aggressive. Well, why are you flying around me? Because I was trying to get to my house. Wait a minute, you see house and not hive? Yes, I live in, I live in little tubes. I put my eggs in there. So you're pulling the eggs in there? Well, I put one in and then I build a mud wall. And then I put another one, so I, each one has its own cell. Well, what kind of bee are you? What's your name? I'm a mason bee. So you're like a bricklayer? Uh, yes, I build those mud walls. Well, what happens to the eggs when you build the mud walls? Well, I put the put the egg in there with a the little pollen in each one, and then after after a time, they change into a larva, and then they change again, and they eat the pollen until they grow in there and become full size eggs, full size bees, and then they go to sleep for the winter and come out next spring and do it all over again. Well, where do you go in the winter? Well. I'm a very busy bee during my time of my life, but then when that's over, then then I'm gone. Well, and how they, do you, the next generation takes over. How do you get your pollen? What? How do you get to the flower? Do you flop into it? So, you see, I have pollen stuck all over me. So, but I'm not good at holding on to it. So as I fly from flower to flower, it falls off, and I get more, and it falls off, and I get more. Well, it sounds like you do a lot of pollinating. I do. I can pollinate 650 times more than a honeybee. Wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of pollinating. So what's astonishing is mason bees. Are they aggressive? Not at all. We're are, called the gentle bees. Well, how about destructive like carpenter bees? No, we don't, we don't dig our own hole. We find holes. So you fill the hose up with the mud as you, with each egg cell with the... And the eggs, yes. Okay. Well, you know what? This is a wonderful little bee. And do we have any here at Bernheim? Yes. We have a house at the Edible Garden. That's wonderful. My goodness. Well, you know what? I'm not scared anymore. I'm coming back. I want you to know that when you come to Bernheim Arboretum, I want you to check out the Mason Bee Houses here at Bernheim in the Edible Garden. And also, I think they have one, I think I've seen one at the Education Center. And uh, I want you to think about, if Bernheim can have this in their, in their area, I bet you can too, because evidently they're here. So, back to you.